Chronicle Glass Studio is in Whanganui, New Zealand, and so we've converted a newspaper factory into a glass bone studio. So this is the studio. We have the gallery up here, and downstairs is where all the action happens. The furnace runs at 1100 degrees, 24 hours a day. There's a large crucible inside that's full of molten glass. I've always been creative and I suppose I was trying to find uh, an outlet to work with and I stumbled across glass blowing and was totally addicted from day one. There's no other medium like it, it's, it's, it's hot and it's runny and then it forms into this cool form so you have windows to manipulate the hot glass and that's what I enjoy. I've been glass blowing for 11 years. I've travelled around the world with glass blowing and was trying to work out a place where to set up a studio and it was always going to be Whanganui. There's a lot of glass artists here in Whanganui. It is a huge base in New Zealand for glass. Also it's a beautiful spot, it takes me four minutes to get to work. Uh, it has a river, it's close to the sea, so it's a very beautiful little town. I make a range of glassware, I make goblets, platters, currently I'm doing lighting and chandeliers. I get a lot of my ideas from the natural world, through my travels. A lot of my work has curves and different sorts of lines, lots of trails. hard sometimes you come up with a drawing and then you've got to try and make it in glass so you know you can come up with an idea and sometimes it can be quite difficult to actually make that so it is quite a challenge but I, I enjoy the challenge of working with hot glass. I have a five-year goal to have more people working in the studio. Glass blowing is a lot of teamwork at the moment I have two people working with me but I'd like to increase that and have more of a team so we can make bigger, larger one-off pieces. I just want people to enjoy my work really more than anything.